Mark Hamburg here from MSA with our weekly update. Today is uh, Friday, July the 3rd. And uh, just looking back over this past week, we, we actually went from very hot conditions into a little cooler. And uh, so by Tuesday, uh, water temperatures had dropped enough. I, I actually spurred me to go fishing on Tuesday and I was lucky enough to land a grills and I had a large salmon on for about four or five minutes. Um, so there are fish in the river and uh, as long as the conditions stay cool, angling can be pretty good. So the cold water pools are, are still closed. I uh, had a meeting this morning with DFO um, and I, I think the announcement will be made later today. But I do believe the thresholds have been met to allow these cold water pools to reopen. It's supposed to have a cool, cool night tonight and over the weekend and a little bit of rain. So um, I think, anyway, we'll find out later today. Watch our website, but it will be, if it is allowed, it'll be posted on the DFO website and would start Saturday morning. So watch out for that. Unfortunately, next week is supposed to get warmed up again, but um, uh, we sure need the rain for the weekend to bring fish in. However, reports are that there's a fair number of grills being seen now in the lower portion of the river. So there are fish starting to move in now that it's cooled down. And, uh, and certainly from the barriers, uh, we, we're operating now the Northwest Barrier and the Dungarvan Barrier. There's been a big increase in fish at the Northwest Barrier over last year, and well over 100, uh, 100 fish in that pool. Um, and, but the Dungarvan Barrier is chugging along, it's not doing um, as well. So maybe similar to last year or a little bit down from last year. So not everything is equal everywhere. So right now it's a little bit of a slow time of the year. Um, we're waiting on a lot of decisions by fisheries and oceans, uh, particularly about um, the smallmouth bass in Miramichi Lake and the southwest Miramichi. Uh, we're, we're anxiously awaiting for that decision, whether we'll have a permit to go forward this fall to eliminate the smallmouth bass. And around that, there's a whole bunch of activities that will take place. So we are anxiously awaiting that decision. And we're also waiting for our TFO to take the lead on our recovery plan. I mean, we presented it this winter. We really haven't seen any action yet. So it's time now to get together. Uh, COVID-19 has been blamed for a lot of things, but you know, really we, we gotta get together to, to get the Miramichi back to its greatness again. So we're in a little bit of a holding pattern until the decisions are made in that regard. So um, we had our annual general meeting and board meeting last Saturday, and uh, we now have a new chairperson of the board for the, for the first time. We have a female chairperson, and it's Debbie Norton. So uh, Kevin Harris has been with us as chair for the last two years. He's done a great job, and he actually filled in a bit for Brian Moore, who was uh, our previous chairman, who was sick quite a bit and couldn't make those board meetings. So Kevin did a great job. Uh, he's still around, he is past chair. He'll be still active in the board. And uh, Debbie is uh, now our new chairperson. And I think you're going to see Debbie be part of these uh, weekly videos over the summer. to Give her perspective. And uh, as an outfitter, she, she's on the river quite a bit. Um, some of the Upcoming things is we have our online auction with some great trips on there that closes Monday at 8 p.m. And that's July 6th. And we hope that you, you will go on there and participate. And don't forget our Toonie Draw every week is still available. And I guess we'll talk to you next week. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with everything happening here at the Miramichi Salmon Association.